I was standing in the grocery section examining an apple when my eyes shifted to a man nervously eyeing the cereal boxes. I casually dropped a sack of flour into my shopping cart, then hid behind a rack and scanned the man's face on my watch. Suspect identified. Tobias Steele, known for industrial espionage and diamond heists. Approach with caution. Slowly, I moved my cart closer to Tobias. Hey. Could you pass me 10 boxes of Fruit Loops, please? I'm too short. Don't you just love Fruit Loops? They're the best. <clears throat> I don't like anything sweet. Everyone likes Fruit Loops, dude. That's just criminal. Tobias looked at me nervously, then suddenly started running in the opposite direction. I flung the sack of flour at his head and he fell. Then I pinned him to the ground. Who, who are you? Your worst nightmare. Hi, my name is Jane and I'm a secret agent with the CIA. Please like and subscribe to MSA. I grew up with my scientist dad and identical twin sister Camilla. Mom left us when we were babies and dad was always busy in a science lab in our basement, so we weren't too close. Having a twin sister wasn't the greatest thing either because Camilla and I had nothing in common. She was much more girly and a social butterfly and we never got along even as kids. We further drifted apart in middle school when she made friends with the school bully Kira and I got into boxing. Soon, I was facing every competition in town. I was good. So good that at 15, the CIA secretly approached me and recruited me. Three years later, I'm their smartest agent ever. Of course, my family didn't know. They thought I was a weird, introverted tomboy with a thing for flannel shirts and books. After pinning down another criminal, I was sitting in the school cafeteria when suddenly Kira started sniffing me. Ew, you smell like trash. When was the last time you washed your hair? Or shaved your armpits? About the same time you two said something worth paying attention to? Oh wait, that was never. OMG, shut up. Ryan just walked in. Kira, quick. How am I looking? Fix my lip gloss, will you? Camilla was a popular girl, but Ryan was the star of the school. Football team captain, really handsome, totally dumb. You know the list. Camilla started walking in Ryan's direction, smiling and waving at him, but he just smiled and looked away. Ouch, that was painful. Anyway, just get my milkshake, Cammy, and stop wasting time on these dumb boys. You look desperate. Kira walked away, and Camilla was leaving too, but I stopped her. Why do you do everything she says? She's not the boss of you. And you are? Just keep your nose in your books and out of my business. Got it? Loud and clear. Just then, my phone started buzzing like crazy. My secret phone, and I knew it was time for another mission. This time, it was about someone named Belinda Holland, who was running a secret lab on her private island. My mission was to locate that lab, gather intel, and report back. And Belinda's son, Ryan, happened to be the same guy Camilla was head over heels for. For the next few days, I noted every little detail about Ryan. When he practiced football, what he had for breakfast, even the girls he flirted with, just to find that one golden opportunity to strike up a conversation with him and then get closer. But every time I tried to make a move, something or someone would interrupt us. I was starting to think luck wasn't on my side when one night I caught Camilla sneaking out. Ow, ow, ow! My arm! You're freaking strong for a girl! Gee, thank you. Where are you going in the middle of the night? To a party, obviously. Ryan's mom has this cool resort on a private island, and he's taking me and Kira there tonight. It's kind of a big deal because no one's ever been on it before, and I really want to go. You know how much I like him. Private island. Bingo. It had to be the same island where the lab was located. I mean, how many islands can one person own? I know it's MSA, but let's be realistic, guys. I just had to get to this party. Fine, but are you sure you want to wear that? That dress looks a bit dated. You think? Wait, what do you know about fashion? I know what suits my sister, and this isn't working. Tell you what, you change and I will hold the door for you. Camilla looked at me suspiciously, but then left to change. Once she was inside the washroom, I quickly closed the door and locked it. Dad wasn't going to hear her anytime soon in his basement. I'm sorry, I'll explain everything later. I fixed my hair, did some makeup, and when I was done, I looked exactly like Camilla. Yeah, we were identical, but this was the first time I actually saw it. I took a cab to the dock and got there just in time. I was just getting my bag out when this guy tapped on my shoulder. Are you excited? I've never been to one of Ryan's exclusive parties before. Eep, does this mean I'm famous now? I'm Patrick, by the way, Ryan's cousin. I'm Cam. Before I could introduce myself, the boy screamed and then jumped on me. It's a frog. Oh no, it senses my fear. Please save me. I've never even had a girlfriend or a kiss. Will you kiss me? Please, 
It's my last wish before I die. Or no, wait, kiss the frog and maybe it'll turn into a prince or something. What? It doesn't work like that. And it's gone, so you can get down. You're awfully heavy. Patrick let me go, and soon after, we boarded the sailboat along with Kira and Ryan and headed for the island. As soon as we got there, I started scanning the place, but it just looked like a regular beach. And I noticed that we had no signals on our phones. I know you guys are wondering where we are, but trust me, this will be the best experience of your life. I just have a feeling, before Ryan could finish, a huge coconut fell on his head and knocked him out. Is he dead? It's a coconut, Kira, not a meteor. He'll be fine. Only he wasn't. We waited for Ryan to wake up on his own. But since it was too dark and none of us knew the way to the resort except Ryan, we decided to camp on the beach. And the next morning, I woke up to Ryan screaming his lungs out. Oh my god, oh my god, what am I doing here? Who are you? And why are you sunbathing next to me? Ha ha, very funny. Stop the games and let's go to this resort. I really need to pee. What? I don't know you, okay? Or do I? My head is hurting. God. Ryan, what year is it? Um, 2015? That's when I realized that the coconut probably hit him too hard and Ryan was suffering from amnesia. I quickly woke up the rest and we decided to go back to the city to get Ryan checked. But when we turned around to leave, we saw the boat had drifted into the ocean because Patrick forgot to anchor it properly. You've got to be kidding me. I was still recovering from the whole frog thing. Are we going to die here? Wait, did you guys kidnap me? I might not remember everything, but I know for a fact that I'm rich. Oh, I know what we can do to save our lives. My aunt taught me this ritual. Suddenly, Kira got down on her knees and started chanting something. Oh, my lord, Kumbaya, please save us. Don't let us get eaten by dolphins. As a sacrifice, I'm giving up my vintage Chanel sunglasses. Please accept this. Hoo la 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 hoo la 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 hoo hoo. Kira, can you please not act like an idiot for once and let me focus? What's gotten into you, Camilla? You're not usually this snarky, and I was just helping. It's not like I forgot to anchor the boat. I said I was still hung up on the frog. Can someone please tell me what's happening? Shut up, all of you! Focus, we have two choices. Either we stay here crying about a boat, or we walk till we find the resort. Everyone calmed down and decided to go with the second option, which was to find the resort. But the heat was killing us, and we couldn't spot anything for hours. To top it all, Kira was an absolute brat and kept asking me to piggyback her. When I refused, she threw a fit, and one of the boys had to step in. It wasn't until sunset that we came across a big building that looked really creepy. Thankfully, it wasn't so bad on the inside, and we slept like babies. But in the middle of the night, I woke up to a faint humming sound. I was sure it was coming from somewhere in the room and carefully scanned every corner trying to find the origin of the sound when I saw a tall figure standing at the end of the hall. Who? Who's there? No answer. I can hurt you really, really bad. I know kickboxing and kung fu. Still no answer, and the sound kept growing louder as I got closer. It was too dark. I couldn't see the face and was sweating bricks when suddenly Patrick jumped out of the shadows wearing headphones. Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing? And why were you making that sound? I was just singing. It helps calm me down. You should try it. I relaxed a bit, and both Patrick and I sat down. As we got talking, I asked him more about Ryan and Belinda. He was Ryan's cousin, after all. I've never really met Ryan before. I was here on vacation, and when he heard I was in town, he invited me to this party. My mom hates his family because she thinks Ryan's mom is kind of snooty. Rich and pretty people are often snooty. Well, I guess that means you're not rich then. <laughs> but, but you are pretty. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say you looked poor. I meant, watch out! Just then, Patrick pulled me in as a lizard fell from the ceiling. We were so close, I could practically feel him breathing on my face. He wasn't so bad to look at, actually. Ew, no, Jane, snap out of it. That was a close call. It's a lizard. Also, you're kind of strangling me. <clears throat> sorry. Patrick and I left for bed soon after, and the next morning, I woke up extra early to check the places for clues when I noticed that Ryan was missing. I searched for him everywhere in the house, but he was nowhere to be seen, so I rushed outside and walked around till I spotted Ryan standing under a coconut tree. What are you doing? I figured if I stand here long enough, a coconut might fall on my head again and I might get my memory back. I don't think that's how it works, Ryan. Let's go back. We started walking back when I noticed a weird-looking bird following us. I grabbed it to take a closer look when I saw a small camera under its tail. Holy cow, this was a surveillance bird. Just then, the bird started flapping its wings like crazy. 
making loud beeping sounds, and within seconds, a black van arrived and two guards came running in our direction. You're outnumbered, sweetheart. Surrender peacefully, and we might go easy on you. Please, I fought tougher men than you before breakfast. Let's dance. I launched into some of my best boxing moves, knocking one of the guards to the ground. But the other guard pulled me into a tight grip. I tried to fight my way, but he was too strong. And the next thing I knew, he pushed me into the back of a van with a really weird smell. And soon, everything went dark. When I woke up, I was in a big room with my hands tied to a pole. And Ryan was sitting across from me playing video games. Oh, hey, you're up, finally. Care for some candy? No, you idiot, untie me. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I've been a little in and out with my memory since Mom got me here this morning. There, all done. As Ryan untied me, I quickly got up to run, but just as I turned around, a woman walked in, and I immediately recognized her from the photos, Belinda Holland. She saw my hands untied and screamed at Ryan. What have you done, you moron? Guards, catch her! I bolted towards the door and managed to escape the room, but just as I turned the corner, I saw the guards running towards me, blocking the exit. Come on, Jane, you were trained for this. Knock him down. I took a defensive stance and was ready to attack when suddenly the window next to me shattered and Patrick jumped in. What are you doing here? Saving your butt, of course. Where's Kira? You didn't think I'd bring her on a rescue mission. Good call. Also, that glass could have hurt me, hero. Oh, yeah, I uh, didn't think that through. I was... Dude, look out, guard incoming, nine o'clock. But Patrick failed to react in time and the guard pinned him to the ground. But I kicked the guard in the face. Next time, just say duck or dodge or something. I'm bad with directions. Got it. We started throwing punches and kicks left and right, and we were surprisingly well synchronized. I didn't know Patrick could fight like that, and he looked so hot doing it. After knocking the guards down, Patrick and I ran like crazy up some stairs. We must have climbed over seven floors before stopping in front of a door with a passcode. Um, maybe it's Ryan's birthday. It's his mom's place after all. Patrick started punching numbers like crazy. Okay, it didn't work. Maybe it's his parents' anniversary. It could be his jersey number or locker combination, his blood report number. Are you in love with Ryan or something? How do you know so much about him? Because I did my homework. Special Agent Patrick Yapper, NSA. You're an agent? So am I, CIA. So you're not Ryan's cousin? I am, but I'm also an agent. It was my mission to stay close to the family and get information about some secret lab. And can you stop talking? I'm trying to concentrate. Yeah, sure. Dude, you're like the clumsiest agent ever. That was just my cover. I'm not that clumsy, okay? Sure, whatever you say. How did you find me? I heard some loud beeping sounds, ran out, saw you get abducted, and followed you here. Also, I maneuvered through a laser maze, fought almost a thousand guards, and came here to save you. That sounds like an exaggeration. But wait, you came here to save me? And not for the mission? Why? What do you mean, why? Because I, oh God, I can hear footsteps. I have to break this door down. Brace yourself. Before I could react, Patrick took a deep breath and charged at the door, but it was made of metal and he stumbled backwards right into my arms. There, there now, all good, princess. <clears throat> Happens to the best of us. I looked around and saw a fire extinguisher, which I used to smash open the lock. When the door flew open, we saw something that blew our minds. There was a huge machine in the middle of the room that looked like some kind of weapon. We were inspecting it when Belinda walked in with her guards and Kira. What are you doing here? I told you to stay back in the room. I couldn't stay back when the love of my life was taken away from me. Camilla, I love you. If we survive this, I'd love to take you out sometime. What? I thought it was obvious. I have always loved you. I was just jealous that you liked that idiot Ryan. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Let's get to the point. You will not be leaving till your dad comes here and gives me the key chemical I need to finish my master project. What chemical? And what's my dad got to do with any of this? Belinda went on to tell me how my dad was actually working for the government and he was the only person who could make the chemical she needed. That's why I asked Ryan to invite you here, so I could use you as bait and get your dad to help me. But unfortunately, my son's an idiot and lost his memory. Also, I didn't know you were an agent, so that kind of messed up my plan. A little tip, cooperate and I might be lenient with you. I have a little tip for you too, ma'am. Don't watch the mouth, watch the hands. With that, I landed a solid blow right on Belinda's face, sending her stumbling backwards. In the meantime, Patrick picked up the weapon and hung it over the railing. One move and I swear this thing will go over the edge. Patrick, your family, son. 
family my butt. You didn't even know I existed until I showed up at your door. Tell your guards to drop their weapons and release Kira. Now! Belinda reluctantly signaled her guards, and when they'd put their weapons down, I took the phone from one of the guards and alerted my team. Within minutes, reinforcements arrived via helicopters and arrested Belinda, seized the lab, and safeguarded the weapon. Ryan, too, was taken in for questioning. When everything was wrapped, Patrick, Kira, and I went back to the mainland, where I saw Dad and Camilla waiting for me. I rushed to them immediately. Why didn't you ever tell me you worked for the government, Dad? You never told me you were a spy either. That's just how things are. But Janie, I am so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Wait, you're not Camilla? No, I am. Before I could react, Camilla started hitting me like crazy. Who does that to their own sister? You locked me and you took my phone? You know I can't live without my phone? Ow! I'm sorry, but it was important. Ow! I swear to God, if you put yourself in danger again, I will kill you. Are you crying? Aw, I'm glad you're here. By the time I was done meeting with my family and briefing the team on what happened, I noticed that Patrick was gone. I couldn't even thank him properly. And worse, tell him that I might have a little crush on him. A few weeks passed after the operation, and I was informed that Belinda had finally confessed that she was working for an enemy organization. Ryan was sent to his dad in Germany, and I never heard from him again. Kira finally asked Camilla out, but unfortunately, Camilla didn't feel the same way about her, and they mutually decided to take a break from their friendship. Meanwhile, while I tried to use all my sources to find out where Patrick was, but it was like he disappeared into thin air. Then one day, I was in a coffee shop when I heard a huge crash. Ow, my head. Patrick, what are you doing here? What happened to your clothes? I got lost, then took a little detour and fell into a puddle. Then two minutes later, I walked into a flower shop to get you some flowers, but ended up tripping over something there too. But I know you like to come here often, so I thought of giving it a shot and voila. How did you know I came here? Have you been stalking me? You make it sound like stalking's a bad thing. Stalking just means caring enough to find out things about people that they don't want to tell you themselves. <sighs> Look, I like you, Jane, and I know I'm kind of clumsy and stupid, and I say all the wrong things, but I was hoping I could get to know you better. But Kira asked you out and... Oh, hold on a second. Kira likes my sister, Camilla. I'm very much into boys, especially clumsy ones. Really? Yes, but you can't disappear like that again. Noted. Now, can I kiss you spy style? Patrick took me by the waist and leaned in to kiss me, but ended up losing his balance and we both crashed into a table. Why am I not surprised? 